everyone, welcome to my Tarot Corner. So, you know how it's been said, uh, we are uh, busy making plans and then things happen if before, be, before we even uh, um, take, you know, uh, the first step in order to execute our plans. So, uh, before I start, please, um, Take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation as, as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So uh, I, I had my entire readings for today planned uh, thumbnails may already made and everything uh, organized and then this morning i wake up to hear that netflix axed terrible so of course i had to do a read i had to do a reading about pearl and because i, I have to go to work uh, in an hour i won't be able to do the rest of the uh, uh, of the um, planned uh, readings for today so um, they'll, they'll have to wait for maybe tomorrow uh, if nothing else disrupts my plans so uh, let's get into this and I'm going to first of all take uh, a significator card from this deck and see what are what is this, the significator cards tells us and then I'm going to use the Shadowland Tarot in order to do a, a spread called Next Step which is what will Megan do next now that her uh, animation series called Pearl is not on anymore and it was coming in the past few days we've been hearing that uh, Netflix is uh, is uh, t uh, laying off all of their animation um, uh, department and it was uh, really coming it was coming it was uh, really obvious that it will happen with everything that is going on with Netflix right now the decrease in their value share value the uh, the amount of subscribers that are leaving them uh, it was just a matter of time so uh, now now what so Megan will have to start thinking about something else what will she do so right now uh, I'm going to start with uh, the uh, this the um, significator card and then we'll do the tarot so first i'm going to clear the deck okay so netflix decided to axe megan's animation series called pearl megan decide eh, netflix decided to axe megan's animation series called Pearl. So let's see what we get. And the card that I'm getting is the star. Okay, so the star, as I say, and I say it quite a lot, it's about uh, opening uh, this, uh, um, an Pandora box. It's about the need to uh, get everything out in the open. It is about secrets that need to be uh, revealed. Uh, it's about people that are emotionally unstable and unable to uh, get uh, stable because 
uh, they need uh, mental health therapy. So this uh, card as a significator card only shows us that uh, uh, for Netflix, uh, it's been enough. Uh, they understand that there are so many uh, secrets that are kept by the uh, Sussexes that uh, putting up on more, uh, more and more uh, things by them is uh, jeopardizing Netflix. Uh, as people already noticed, Pearl was not an original idea, and this could even expose them to all sorts of uh, it was all kind of liabil liabilities, all sorts of uh, uh, of um, um, of uh, court cases, uh, people that will sue them because uh, of uh, uh, of uh, plagiarizing their ideas. So this was not a very good idea to begin with, and it apparently was uh, enclosed with so many secrets and so many things, and Megan herself is so unstable that uh, this was part of the reason that the Netflix uh, decided to ax them, ax Peril. Now, the star, uh, is also a card that speaks about uh, being honest and uh, being a, feel, a kind of warmth feeling. And I believe that in the beginning, uh, and we saw a Netflix CEO talking about his, uh, his uh, deal with the, the Sussexes, they really believe that this is a star quality. And they really believe that the Sussexes are a, a win for them. But uh, as time goes by and nothing comes out from them, and, and they realize that so many secrets are hidden there, and this Pandora box that might open and might just uh, completely disrupt them, and they are in a very, very vulnerable state as it is. So uh, it's not uh, surprising that they decided to uh, ask uh, Pearl. Okay, so what will Megan's next step will to be. Okay, so I am clearing the deck first. And let's start with um, what will Megan do now that her animated series Pearl is being just for a moment, there's a card that fell. So once more, what will Megan's next steps will be once, uh, since now her animated series fell is axed. And let's cut the deck. And this is an a, an actual a six to seven cards a, a spread, and I will explain why. But the first card is what was her last step, or where is she coming from? And we get the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, that's the queen with social responsibility. That is the way Megan would love to be seen. This is how she is trying to convince the world uh, to see her. Uh, not as the Queen of, uh, of uh, Wands, which she is, but the Queen of Swords, which is the idealistic, the one with social responsibility, the one who sacrifices her Herself, uh, in order to uh, help others and uh, someone who is a workaholic, someone who is very good in everything connected to technology, to novelties. This is how she would love to be seen as
as someone who is has novelty ideas, someone whose intuition is great and she knows what to do and she is so good and everything and she's the idealistic, she is working for ideals, for social justice, she's workaholic, she's working very hard. This is how she wants the world to see her. But that's not who she is. And this is what she's leaving behind because uh, this is something that, uh, this image is just something that she cannot maintain. People just don't believe her. Okay, so what is going in uh, right now? What is the current state, uh, step? And we get the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of victory, but only if you are willing to accept help. Now, uh, we know that Netflix at the beginning, uh, quite a few months ago, hired people to help uh, Megan with everything connected to Pearl and to their uh, to to that uh, production, uh, but probably this didn't work out because uh, uh, if she's not willing to accept the help to giving, and this has to be some kind of. Uh, a help that is not conventional help. Uh, this shows struggles and feuds and difficulties. So uh, this card shows us that everything that is connect that was connected with that production was con uh, was uh, uh, was with a lot of struggle in there. There was a lot of difficulties. There are a lot of uh, feuds. She was unwilling to accept the uh, the unconventional help and the conventional help, and because of that, she cannot go forward to the six of wands, which is the victory. The five of wands is a card that says you can reach the six of wands, but you need help. But if you're not willing to accept that help, then you are. Uh, you are uh, not succeeding. You will not reach that victory. And this card is uh, also a card of someone who uh, needs mental health therapy. Uh, many times, uh, this is the uh, unconventional help that that person needs. But she needed that uh, that help in uh, many, many aspects, in the uh, work has aspect, in the uh, mental health aspect, but she's unwilling to accept help. And this is why she's right now standing uh, with nothing in her hands, nothing. So this is the current step. And what can we see for the future? What will her next step be? And we get the three of wands. So she will try to get people to cooperate with what she wants. The, the, the three of wands is a card of recognition and cooperation. Uh, this is about being able to get some kind of a, a, a very minor success uh, if you first of all receive that cooperation. So this is what she's going to uh, try to get. Now, just watch this card. This card is, there's an octopus here who is uh, uh, have, uh, uh, holding three candles for that ship that is coming from, uh, from far away, like uh, three lighthouses. And uh, this is very different from the right away tarot, uh, because here, uh, this is not someone who is embarking on this uh, uh, voyage to realize his potential. Someone who is standing and looking at the uh, at the at the ships that are sailing, but. 
uh, is um, going to embark on that voyage. Here, the, the, the character, which is the octopus, is actually waiting for the uh, ship to come. And this is why I always say that I like using different decks because of the uh, way that the intuition allows me to reinterpret the cards in other ways. And in this card, it looks to me like Megan is waiting for people to come to her. She's waiting to get people to to come to her with ideas to come to her with a, a with deals she is a, not being a, active herself she is unable probably to be active she's like standing there with her a, a with her a candle in her hand waiting for some kind of ship to come and save her from the dire state that she is right now so this is how i see this card in this a specific deck and uh, this is more than getting a, a recognition and cooperation this is about arrogance about ego about some kind of extra self-confidence so despite everything uh, Megan has this tendency to run forward with ideas that are not completely complete, that are not hers, and uh, she has this tendency to convince people uh, or to try to convince people that it is a good idea to run forward with those ideas. This, although uh, in the in the aftermath. Netflix did realize that it's not a good idea to go forward with this very, very expensive production that uh, probably will not uh, achieve uh, the, uh, the revenue that they expect. This, uh, uh, this Pearl uh, animation series, that wasn't something that people will uh, buy a subscription to Netflix to, in order to watch. Uh, they need things like Bridgerton, like The Crown, like things that people will uh, decide to uh, uh, to buy a subscription in order to, uh, wait a minute, my cat wants in, I see here, just one moment. Okay, I don't know if you uh, managed to see Rosie, but she was uh, standing on the window sill from the uh, outside and uh, uh, she uh, was waiting for me to open the window. She loves coming back from that window when she uh, when she's outside. Okay, so where were we? Where we were in the next step. So the next step for Megan is to try to find people that will cooperate with her, despite her arrogance, despite her ego, and uh, people that will recognize what kind of amazing talent she is, uh, despite the fact that she is a plagiarizer. So that's the uh, next step. Okay. So the next card is what kind of advice can we give her? And the advice is four of swords. Okay, so Megan, you need some time out. You need to stop and take some time off and just think about your next steps because uh, this is a card that speaks about deciding not to decide. So this is what she needs to do. She needs to wait. She's not ready to take a decision yet. She that she's not. Uh, uh, she doesn't know exactly what her next steps will be. Uh, she has to uh, wait. And this is another card that speaks about need for therapy. 
therapy, need to uh, em for emotional stability. Uh, this is a card of illness. This is a card of indecision. Uh, this is ab about uh, being wounded. That is not all. Doesn't have to be a uh, physical wounds. That can also be uh, mental wounds. But this card just tells that tells Megan that she needs to take some time off and start thinking about what is it that she's going to do because uh, just you know uh, waving candles to, uh, in the air and uh, waiting for a ship to come uh, with people with new ideas on it is not a, such a good idea so this is the advice for her take some time off decide not to decide and what are the obstacles that are standing in her way and the obstacles are the hanged man Okay, so the hanged man, that's a card of a changing perception, changing point of view. And this is something that she needs to do. But this is an obstacle because, uh, first of all, she feels like she is sacrificed herself. She feels like my... Uh, my uh, ideas, my uh, uh, program was sacrificed uh, because Netflix is uh, falling down. Uh, so she feels like she is sacrificed. She has need had to sacrifice her uh, program. Uh, so. And when this is uh, in the obstacle, uh, when this card is, comes in the obstacle uh, a position, we need to look at the negative aspects of it. And this is about being stubborn, being stuck, being in between. And this is her main obstacle. She doesn't know how to go forward. She is completely stuck. She completely lacks energy. She's lazy. She needs to change her perception. She needs to change her point of view and go forward, but she is unable. That is what the hangman is saying us, to us. The hangman is saying we are uh, seeing a woman that is lazy, that is unable to uh, get out of the feeling that uh, she's self-sacrificed herself, that she is unable to get out of her stubbornness. She's stuck and she is uh, not able to see things uh, as they really are. Okay, so now the next two cards are words from. So you can either use one uh, card and just uh, check like uh, what are words from um, from Harry or words from Netflix or words from Spotify. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take two cards and one is what are what do Netflix have to say? And the next one is what do Spotify think about all of this? So the first card is uh, what do uh, Netflix feel? And Netflix feel destruction and failure because of f acting uh, in the um, uh, in the energy of the four of pentacles the five of pentacles that's destruction and failure and this is coming because of previous actions so they were adhering to uh, uh, things that uh, they had because they felt threatened uh, and too late they decided to uh, to uh, axe pearl and other things and the steps that they are taking right now uh, are probably not leading towards uh, anything better for Netflix uh, because this is the way that they feel. They feel like they did everything wrong and they uh, acted wrongly and right now they are in this uh, fear of loss, difficulty to get out of this uh, a energy of a feeling a threatened the whole a, their whole a, a, 
World Cup is threatened. They, that is how they feel. And this is destruction. This is failure. And this is how Netflix are feeling towards what happened with uh, Megan. And maybe because of this, they will realize that they need to act more things and maybe they will realize that they need to get rid of Harry and Meghan both of them despite the the money that they took out on uh, the Heart of Invictus documentary I don't know how, how much money they already spent but right now they feel like they were adhering to the wrong things and they were uh, acting wrongly and that led to this destruction and failure. And the next card is how do uh, Spotify feel about all of this? And we get the Five of Swords. So it looks like Spotify are uh, getting ready for some kind of action because the Five of Swords, that's a card that says do not sit on the fence. Uh, uh, you need to take action. And no matter what option you choose, all options are bad, but uh, you need to take an action because if you don't do that uh, and you are uh, uh, still afraid of getting hurt of uh, or unsatisfied from what you have, then uh, and you won't take action, then you will end up in uh, destruction. And the and you know how the swords uh, suit is ending with the nine of swords and the ten of swords. So uh, Spotify right now are considering their options, but they know that they need to take uh, an action. They cannot sit on the fence. They cannot uh, let things uh, go as they do right now. They need to take an action. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if we will find out that uh, Archetype is uh, being axed as well. But a uh, time will tell so this is the tarot and as usual with a uh questions that are connected with nefarious things i like using the um the um Wait a minute. Okay, the broken and uh, the dark mirror uh, oracle. So let's see what we get with the dark mirror oracle. Okay, so Netflix asked Pearl, "How do Megan feels? How do Megan feel the, uh, after Netflix asked Pearl?" Okay, and the card that I'm getting is hiding your true self. Okay, so it looks like <laughs> Megan wants to crumble down and hide, but she is hiding her true self. She and this is what the star uh, was all about in the beginning, uh, and all of this is connected with that Pandora box that might open because uh, Megan is hiding the, her true self, and because of that, we don't know who sh she really is. And the next card I have is blinded to pain. So this is very painful for her, blinded to pain. She's unable to see reality as it is, very, very difficult. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.